How to pose for your dating app photos. In the ideal world, every man's profile picture would look like this. Meet Jay. He is the owner of the most right swipe Tinder profile in the UK. As you can tell, Jay has been blessed with husky blue eyes, a chiseled jaw, and J. Crew hair. But one thing he wasn't blessed with is his ability to pose. I'm sure few women would think he was a 10 if he was slouched over, hadn't shaved for a week, and was wearing a hoodie as he posed in a dimly lit bar. The point is, sure, it helps to be objectively handsome like Jay. But how you pose for your dating app photos can have a massive impact on how many swipes right you receive. The question is, how should you present yourself online in order to get more matches? One answer is just to copy Ryan Reynolds. Model your pose after a model. Or Ryan Reynolds. A student of mine recently asked me how he could get his sexy on in his dating app profile. He had a ton of photos but didn't look super sexy in any of them. So naturally, we took to the web to find him a role model of sorts to base his poses on. After a bit of digging, we found Ryan Reynolds. In case you weren't aware, women freaking love Ryan Reynolds. Part of the reason we love him is because he knows a thing or two about posing for the cameras. In a very real sense, this guy is paid millions every year to make sexy poses. So it's probably not a bad idea to steal a pose from him, in particular this one. Why should you steal this pose? Let's pick apart what's working for this pose. For one, Ryan's making eye contact. If I'm a woman looking at this, Ryan is staring into my soul. That's exactly what I want. I wanna feel like he's looking at me, like he sees me as a unique individual and that we're making a connection. It's simple, but far too many guys are taking photos where they're not looking into the camera. What else? When looking at Reynolds' red carpet photos, he pretty much does the same pose in all of them. He leans forward a little, putting one foot just in front of the other, stands up straight, puts his left hand in his pocket, and shoots us a half smile. In damn near every photo, he's doing the same thing. This isn't just an arbitrary preference, but something he does on purpose because he knows it looks good. The thing you should know about celebs is that each one has a team behind them, making them look impeccable at all times. He has a team of stylists whispering into his ear before each red carpet. Clearly, they tell him to use this look, and damn, does he take their advice. If you're lost as to how to pose for your dating app photos, steal Ryan's pose or find your own spirit celebrity to copy. Adjust your outfit. If you're watching this, you probably have no idea how to pose. Chances are you're not photogenic, don't have a library full of photos of yourself, and are looking back years just trying to find a single decent photo that you can post on Tinder, Bumble, or Hinge. If I'm right, you don't want to be overburdened by difficult poses. And chances are you don't even want to pose for a photo. That's just what this next pose offers you. Obviously, we don't love the face he's making. In fact, you should definitely be smiling in your dating photos. But why the rest of this photo works is because it's candid or at least appears to be. It makes it seem as though the subject is an important guy on his way to doing important things. Importance is the message you want to convey online. You want her to think you're someone significant. To rock this pose, do the following. Dress up in your fanciest attire. Find a nice background. Get a friend to snap 50 or more photos of you adjusting your clothes. Adjust the cuffs, buttons, collar, hair. Just keep it above the waist. Clearly show your face. You don't have to stare at the camera. A slightly smiling expression is just fine. Walk it out. Again, if you're overly concerned about posing or just can't control your face, put yourself in a more natural position. The most natural position of all is when you're walking. Either walk towards the camera or have your friend walk next to you as they snap photos alongside you. To take your mind off the fact that you're now Banana Republic's newest model, throw on some music. Get your strut on to your favorite tune as you make that sidewalk the new runway. Just make sure and take your sunglasses off for this photo. Go full candid. Honestly, this is my favorite pose for a dating app photo. Women can smell BS from a mile away. If you're posing with a Lambo that you rented, she'll know it's not yours and that you probably drive a Kia. She wants to know the real you, which is why you should capture yourself in your most natural state. What's something you love to do? Are you a painter, board game enthusiast, writer, boxer, runner, sailor, chef, dog lover? Show her who you are by doing what you love most and capturing it. Not only do you not have to worry about not posing, but you're posting a shot that reveals who you are. This shot will help you find the type of woman you're after. Hand under chin. Something about a man touching his chin, looking pensive, is just sexy. A furrowed brow, perhaps, engrossed in whatever he's doing, suggests passion. Women love a passionate guy. Pro tip. Take 50 plus photos when posing. We asked a bunch of professional photographers how to take amazing photos, and each one said one key is taking a crap ton of photos. Man's best wingman. 
Women love dogs. What they also love are men who love dogs. Mm -hmm. As if we needed a study to support this claim, many a study shows that men posing with their dogs in their photos get more likes. <laughs> Perhaps it shows that you have a paternal side and that you love and can take care of another living thing. Whatever the case may be, women dig it. When posing for a sexy photo with your pooch, just make sure you don't let your dog dominate the shot. After all, it's not Spot's dating profile, it's yours. Make sure she can still see your face and make eye contact with the camera. Quick tips. Now that you have a few poses to choose from, let's quickly run through a few things to keep in mind when you're off on your next photo shoot. One, background is everything. Always be mindful of what's behind you. There's a reason bathroom selfies are a no-go. Two, group photos are fine until they aren't. Maybe you have a ton of group shots. That's fine, but you can't load all of them in your profile. Make sure the first group shot you include in your profile is after the second photo. She needs to know what you look like before she meets your friends. Secondly, ideally you're the best looking person in the photo. If not, she'll be more into your friends and keep swiping until she finds them. No selfies ever. Selfies are low value because everyone can take them. The angle is too close, it suggests you don't have any friends, and you're always making that weird selfie smile in all of them. Selfies are for Snapchat, not dating apps. Don't forget to smile. Keep it simple. If you don't know how to pose, just look at the camera and smile. If you don't know how to do that, ask your friend to joke with you as he takes photos. Sooner or later, a smile is bound to make an appearance. Next steps. Now it's time to make a pose, snap a photo, and upload it to your profile. If you still want a more professional looking photo, consider joining <laughs> Dating Decoded. Our best in class coaching program offers recommendations on exceptional photographers that specialize in dating app profile photos. After your photos are selected, it's time to get your swipe and chat on. If you're scoring matches but can't seem to score a number, you may want to team up. Our program, Dating Decoded, teaches men how to be online dating mavens. Among the many topics we teach men is how to quickly create a spark online and use a TDL to ask her out or get her number. We can teach you how to woo her in under 10 messages. Want to learn how so you can attract the women of your dreams? Schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call now so we can learn more about you, your goals, and how we can help you meet your forever partner. <laughs> that wraps up this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.